Hello friends, welcome back to Amazing Men's World. In this video, I'll show you the latest model of flower back neck design, which is very much suitable for designing the blouses or the back neck kurtis, chudidar kameez, back neck lines. You can also try this for the indoor western patterns for the tunics. Comfortably pair it with jeans or the long skirts. So let's begin. I've trimmed according to my measurements to prepare for the tunic top, which is of below hip length and interfacing neckline till the waist length. Now I'll give the designing on this interfacing, fold it into half. This is for the back panel. We'll prepare this flower design on the boat neck. So for the shoulder length, I'll be marking 2.5 inches with the neck deep of 4 inches. You can go up to 4 and off or 5 inches neck deep. Connect these two points with the curved line like this. Now for the designing, I will be giving the marking on 10 inches. You can mark for 8 to 10 inches in between. So from here, I will be marking 3 petal shape. The shape of the flower would something look like this. Now I got the perfect shape so I will unfold it, again fold it on these markings, slowly tap on it so that the markings will transform to another side. See the beautiful flower shape, I will make it dark to make it visible. This is how the neckline would look. Now I will place this on the tunic, we will also require the dory, this is the handmade dory I am using, you can also use the ready made dory if you like it. On the fold, place this interfacing, ensure both the right sides together and exactly on the true flower lines we have to give the stitch line. I sewed on this petal shape. This is how it looks. I have also concealed the raw edge of this interfacing, folding and giving the stitch line. So exactly on these markings, we have to give the stitch line because the pattern should not be disturbed. To trim off the extras, just adjacent, just adjacent to this sewn line, start cutting. Now trim off this extras and give the slits on this curved shape. Turn to its right side. Give the gentle place so that underneath seaming elements will be settled properly. This is how the neckline would look. The shape of the petals. Now we have to align with the dory for these joinings, measure it and trim accordingly. The below petal will have the U shape cutting, so place it like this as per the required length, a little extra giving it for the seaming elements, cut it. Now we have to place underneath this petals etching like this and we have to give the top stitch. So as per the required length, let's give the markings for the proper alignment. Now I'll give the top stitch joining with these dories. See reaching to these ends, place this dory on this marked line like this. Continue sewing. Now 
the other side dori should be placed to this another side of the neckline and just continue sewing This type of design and necklines will really give you the gorgeous look on the sari blouses, crop tops, designer suits, kurtis, kameez, what not you can try for any patterns and is suitable to any age groups. I am almost done with the sewing part. Now for the joining, I would use this ball chain or the stone lace, it's optional. For that I'll use the anchor dory and tie a tight knot of these two dories to keep in place. Now I'll apply the fabric glue on it. Start winding this stone lace on this glue without having any gaps should wind it. Let it dry for some time and I am done with this design and neckline. The final finishings is here. See the beautiful go simple gorgeous flower neckline embellished with this stone lace. Highlighting with the contrasted color dory. Isn't it looking amazing? This flower shape you can increase or decrease the depth as per your requirement. I hope you like this pattern. Please do try like and share. Also leave your comments which really means lot to me. Thank you so much friends, meet you all with another interesting video, subscribe and stay tuned to watch more videos of latest fashions and trends. Happy Sunday, bye for now.